I shall now introduce to you the annular solar eclipse of 26 December 2019, which is one of the most anticipated events in Singapore astronomy scene because it happens very rarely. So this is a brief intro on what I'll cover today, which is the recent total solar eclipse in South America, how an eclipse forms, the three types of eclipses, five stages of an annular solar eclipse, some basic safety measures that you should take note of, as well as an invitation to the NUS field on that day itself. So this is the picture of the recent eclipse in South America on the 2nd July 2019. So as you can see from this picture uh, that a lot of people around the world actually gather at that place on that day because a solar eclipse actually, while itself is not rare because it happens around once every 18 months, but to have it occur over a specific area is a very rare thing, which I'll, brief, I'll explain more later. So in this picture, you can see that people will actually take their time to travel to a place and set up periscopes and cameras and other expensive equipment to take photographs of this event. So here's another, another picture of the same solar eclipse. You can see that although it is daytime, the act of the moon covering the sun will cause it to briefly appear to be evening or night time for about two to three minutes. And here is a satellite imagery showing the solar eclipse from, uh, from a bird's eye view, a very high bird. Okay, so you can see that the moon will actually cast a shadow on the earth during the solar eclipse. So now for one, a brief one-page explanation on how an eclipse forms. So the sun is in the center of our solar system and the Earth orbits the Sun about 150 million kilometers around it. And at the same time, the Moon orbits the Earth at around 400,000 kilometers away. So you, you might think that every month, which is 28 days, every month there should be an eclipse going on, but that's not the case. Why is that so? That's because the Moon is inclined about 5 degrees of axis, so that a solar eclipse actually only occurs about once every 18 months. Okay, now I shall talk about the three types of solar eclipses. The first is a partial solar eclipse, which is more common because it covers a larger area. So in a partial eclipse, part of the moon will cover the sun, but as you can see, most of the sun is still visible and so the, the effects are not as intense. And on the other hand, for a total solar eclipse, the moon perfectly covers the sun. And this is true sheer coincidence because you know the sun is very much larger, but at the same time, the moon is very small, but yet it can cover the sun at the exact same size. So this is because the sun is about 400 times further and 400 times bigger. So it just cosmic coincidence that they can line up and cause the eclipse. In many millions of years from now, that might not be the case because the, the moon is slowly drifting away from Earth and total solar eclipses may be no longer existing. But the final one, the annular solar eclipse, will still happen millions of years in the future. And this is when the moon covers the sun, but due to its orbit not being perf perfectly circular, it will only cover a small part of the sun, and the outside rings of the sun is still visible. Hence you'll see like a ring around floating in the sky. Now for the five stages of the annular solar eclipse, so at the start of the eclipse, the sun will still be there, as per normal, and the moon will slowly gradually cover it throughout a span of about four hours. And here is when the actual annular solar eclipse happens, where totality occurs, and it is only at a short span of about two minutes. So as you can see, for majority of the time, it's just a partial eclipse phase, and only for two minutes will you see the ring hanging in the sky. So this is a brief animation of how an annular solar eclipse will occur. So here are some general safety measures that you should take note of because your eyes are important to you for the rest of your life. <laughs> and so you might think that wearing a regular sunglasses would work, but sadly no, that's not the case. Because the sun's rays, it not only outputs visible light, but it also outputs infrared and ultraviolet, which sunglasses do not block. And hence you need extra specialized uh, solar field solar films that will block out 99.99% of the sun's light, including in the ultraviolet and the infrared range. The NUS Department of Physics will also provide 
uh, several sun spotters on that day, where the sun, the image of the sun will be projected on through uh, various lens and mirrors onto a flat screen, so you can safely view the eclipse. And if you are planning to take photographs of the event, remember to provide solar filters for your camera as well as your own eyes, because aiming the camera directly at the sun might cause the interior elements to actually heat up and maybe even catch fire. So now I shall give a brief in invitation to the NUS field on that day. So here are the exact date and timings which I will not really talk a lot about other than a few important details. So remember it's on 26 December 2019, the day after Christmas where you'll probably be unwrapping your presents. <laughs> and, in, and the time frame the exact time frame that you should take note of is in the afternoon, 1.32 p.m. That is the two-minute window. If you want to see the partial eclipse, it starts at 11.30 actually. So at 1.22 p.m., drop everything you're doing, make sure it's safe, and just look up at the sky as it turns from afternoon, midday sun to suddenly nighttime twilight. So why is this very rare? So let me briefly explain. So in this white region, this is where the partial eclipse occurs. But in this narrow black rectangle in the middle, this is where the total e the annular eclipse will actually happen. So for it to happen over Singapore, it's a very rare occurrence because Singapore is a very small country on Earth. That's why the next solar eclipse will not happen until 2063. So what do you what can you expect? So as mentioned earlier, in 2016, there's a partial solar eclipse that blocked up about 89% of the sun. So back then, in 2016, a crowd of 3,000 still came to Singapore, still came to NUS to view the event. And what to expect during the eclipse? So you should expect the afternoon sky to suddenly turn dark. You can see the stars in Singapore. You can see the planets align, literally. Really? Yes. Oh. So this is twice in a lifetime, you should not miss it. See you on the 26th December. Thank you.